Welcome to ITA. Thank you very much for expressing your interest in the work study diploma in aircraft engine maintenance. This work study diploma is a two and a half year program. In these two and a half years, you are expected to clock 4,000 hours of training. Out of these 4,000 hours, 900 hours will be training of theory and practical in the IT College Central. And the remaining 3,100 hours will be on the job training at the aircraft engine maintenance company. So what is the expected uh, job role of an aircraft engine technician? You will be expected to be able to maintain aircraft engine structure, perform cleaning and geometric measurements of aircraft engine and component, maintain aircraft engine electrical system and component, perform non-destructive testing on engine parts, perform aircraft engine plant operation, which include disassembly and assembly of aircraft engine, perform testing of aircraft engine, repair aircraft engine component, and also perform automated thermal spray, polishing and laser welding on, on aircraft engine components. What is the desired attribute on, of an aircraft engine technician? Basically, you must adopt a safety first mentality. You must be safe for the engine that you're working on and also be safe on yourself and for your colleagues. You are expected to be very meticulous and pay attention to details and, and you are expected to be able to follow job instruction and uh, organizational requirements. You also need to have good interpersonal skill in order to communicate with staff of all levels. You must be willing to perform shift and overtime work when required by the company. And also you need to have good administration skills to perform documentation of all your work done. So what would the, what would be the work environment like to be in an aircraft engine maintenance company? There will be a hot processes repair workshop. You will also be dealing with some chemicals uh, and testing of aircraft engine parts. Of course, a uh, protection gear will be given, will be provided by the company. Uh, you work in a mixture of aircon and non-aircon uh, environment, um, but uh, you are expected to be keeping the whole workplace very organized and clean because for aircraft engine maintenance, you are not, uh, you cannot afford to lose any component or parts. So, how does this work? Basically, when you come forward to apply for this work study diploma, you will be interviewed by the sponsor company. And in this case, the sponsor company is actually GE Aviation. Once the company deem you as a successful candidate, they will hire you as a trainee technician. You will enjoy a monthly basic pay of Singapore dollars 1,600, which is excluding overtime and shift allowance. This amount it will, will be subject to change by the company. So what are the training modules that you have to go through for this two and a half years program? Basically in year one, you will cover, we will cover training on aircraft engine structure maintenance, aircraft engine geometric assessment, aircraft engine electrical system maintenance, and non-destructive testing. In year two, you will cover three more modules, namely, Aircraft engine plant maintenance uh, and operation, aircraft engine test cell operation, aircraft engine component repair and operation. In the, at the end of year one and year two, there will be an additional assessment module known as the integration and performance. In this module, you are required to pass a practical exam and a theory exam, which comprises of all the skills and knowledge that you have learned from all the four modules or for year two will be three modules and in each every module you will also have the in module theory and practical tests in year three which is uh, half a year you will cover one more module on aircraft engine maintenance and automation followed by you need to perform you need to uh, complete a company project all this will be graded and will be part will form part of your grades for your diploma. 
So what is on the job training? On the job training is a hands-on method of teaching skills, knowledge and competency needed for trainees to perform a job. Trainees will be will perform OJT under the guidance under the guidance of a qualified trainer. So basically what you have learned, the skills that you have attained from this on the job training, it will be used directly into the job when you continue to work with GE Aviation. So for this program, you need to go through a list of competency which you will cover during your on the job training phase. So here are the lists. This is the, uh, the top uh, 13 uh, list of competencies. Basically, your qualified supervisor will guide you through, they will train you, they will let you practice, and when, when you are ready, they will assess you for your competency for all these skills. There are a total of 26 skills required for this on-the-job training. So uh, when do you report to the to work and when do you report to IT for training? So if you join if you come forward and apply for this program and you are deemed as a suitable candidate, GE Aviation will expect you to start work with them in April 2021. So from April to September 2021, you will work uh, with GE Aviation and you will start your on-the-job training phase. In October 2021, you will be expected to report to ITE for a month to complete the first two modules of the year one training. Follow that with a three more months of uh, on-the-job training and you return to ITE again in the, in the month of February to complete your sec, uh, two more modules for year one and one more module for year two. And in March, you will have to go through the integration and performance practical and theory exams. With this, I end my presentation. Thank you for your attention.